Garrick, uh, please can you send this to Peter and ask him to give us a hand here, please. Um, so what we understand, so the problem that we're getting is that when we're blowing the liners in, at about 14 meters, it's getting stuck. It doesn't go anymore, uh, and, and it's on a straight line, DN100, um, and, and it's bouncing back. We can't get it to actually stop. So, um, I'm just gonna walk you through how we understand this thing. So we've got airflow here coming from the compressor. It's a 185 CFM, um, and we are pushing at eight bar here. Um, we know that the air comes in over here and our controls to blow the liner through is this one and this one. So this one, if we open it, um, if we open, now I'm confused, if we it open it, the bag. it lets the air in and it closes the airbags, building up pressure at the back here. So while we build up the pressure, we can then open up the uh, valve here and if we open this valve this way, that allows the air to come in, down and into the chamber and that should force the liner through. This one is for regulating. Um, so when we have fully inverted the whole line, we will stop blowing over there, keep this closed or just breathing, uh, regulating and open this one and adjust to the correct holding pressure that we want to be holding it. So the problem that we're having is, is that we're doing all of this and, and it's getting stuck and we don't know why it's getting stuck. We tried it on a dry run now. Obviously, I know that the dry run is, is um, the line is very thick and it's not as soft and, and whatever, so it is going to get stuck. But this is happening after we've went out um, liners. It's the last four jobs now. Yes. Last four jobs, we're getting stuck. Can't get past 14 meters. And at St. Stidians, we did 38 meters of DN160, no problem. So I, I can't work out what's going on. We've just replaced the, the carpets on the airbags over here. And you know, when the compressor's on, it's tight, it's sealed, there's no air coming through here, there's no leaks around here, we don't see any other leaks over here. We do see a leak on this hole over here. Is it enough to stop it from going through, or is it because it's dry? But even when it's wet, we don't get it. So we're only eight meters in now. Please, can you advise? Thanks.